Hello folks, this is Fuzzfinger, welcome back once again to the great Nino Kuni, where we are defeating enemies as we complete our new bounty hunts. So we've done a few in the previous episode, and if we just go onto our journal now we can see that uh, we have a nice selection to go through at the moment, and this is only the first selection, once we've completed 116 through 120. Uh, another batch will open up as part of task 78. But before we do those, we're just going to finish 137 and 138, which is Incredible Oak and Warbird of Prey. These are like uh, one-off bounty hunts that aren't really part of any chain. You can get them from the uh, Swift Solutions. It is, isn't it, that you get bounty hunts? Yeah, I think so. So the first one we're going to do is Task 137 which is the Incredible Oak, and I believe that is around here. I'll just open the map, unless anything pops up. Oh no, look, way off. We need to go north a bit more first. So, this is north of the Deep Dark Wood. Around here, was it, perhaps? I always lose my bearings when I go on Tengri because the mini-map changes. See what I mean? We're still not there. I should have just noticed it's by the lake. Come on, Tengri. Take us to the right place this time. I blame Tengri, look. Got no sense of direction. Uh, just drop us down here. That'll do nicely. There it is, look. Ah. The Oak. The incredible Oak. He's brown at the moment. Let's see if he's going to turn green and mean later. Come on, you guys! Right, so I think we'll start off uh, with... Well, this guy is uh, a, a physical guy, physical dude, so we need to bear that in mind. I don't think Dean is going to do a whole lot. Should we start off with Oliver and start casting spells like we normally do? Wallop, that doesn't sound too uh, pleasing, does it? So, let's start with Evenstar. No, I meant to cast Mornstar. Oh, well. It's actually... Uh, sorry, that that's not the microphone if you heard that. It's actually been about... Uh, three weeks since I've played Nino Kuni. I know I'm uploading these quite quickly now. But from my perspective, uh, as recording, there's been a three week gap between this and the previous episode. Incredible look, that doesn't sound like a nice ability. Should we see if we can interrupt it with Mornstar? And I think we'll defend on the others. Good job we did, because Oliver took a lot of damage then, even though he didn't actually defend. But no doubt Esther or somebody will be kind enough to throw a heal out to us. We're just going to grab this blue orb, not that it gave us a lot of MP anyway. And carry on with the Mornstar. Oh, wow. See what I mean? This guy hurts, man. And he interrupted our Mornstar, which wasn't very nice. Not very nice of him at all, I'd say. Let's go for all-out attack. If we can get some damage done to him, are we going to get this across? No. Oh, Oliver needs a good heal. Right. If we... Hopefully don't go too close to him. Grab some of these. And, yeah, let's throw a... Ah, both Fishberg and Teak and Mahala do the same amount of healing. I never knew that before. Let's hope we can get this off before he hits us. Yes, we can. Uh, although that ability is, like, dodgeable because it's some sort of ball of lightning. At least that's what it looks like. But when you're in the middle of casting a spell, it's going to be hard to dodge. Based on the fact that you can't actually move. Uh, what's this? Wallop. Let's move from that again. Eh, you threw it into nothing. Oh, we don't like this. Can we interrupt it? No, we cannot. Which means we need another heal again. Healing tear, I'll take that. Ah, this guy's going down. There's nothing incredible about this Hulk. Another Mornstar should do the trick, I would say. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yeah, he's down. He's down. Right, I'll leave you grab that gold orb. Nito! Or not. Could have healed up without having to visit uh, any healy place. All our main party members are over level 90 now. Except uh, Marquesin, who's still wallowing around in the low 50s. But you don't actually need to use him if you don't want to. And to be fair, I have actually built my current party up quite powerfully. So, let's travel first of all to... Uh, 
Let's just go to Old Smokey just to heal first, and then we're going to head over and do Task 138, which is the Warbird of Prey. I know I've mentioned it before, but I like to go to Old Smokey just because the Waystone is right next to the entrance, and it is a lot quicker than going to the inn. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave, and then we're going to head over to Swan Island for the next bounty hunt. Therefore, if we travel once again to Ding Dong Dell, Swan Island is the island that's northeast of Ding Dong Dell, the larger, larger of the three islands. I think there's three. The other two are quite small, though. If we just look on our map so that I know where I'm going, we'll call Tengri and see if we can get there in uh, one flight this time. We should be able to. Look at us go. We we can go upside down. Ah, there's the little the little lighter. Hello, mate. Yeah, we'll take him on. We'll show him what we can do. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, has a very high defence and magical defence, which, as you can guess, makes things interesting. And he also likes to nix the party. So just bear that in mind as well. Now let's see what we can do in the way of damage. 364 with Mornstar. I've seen better. We've had better days than that. But uh, I should try Astra for a lovely 54 MP. Uh-oh, he's coming, he's coming. Fortunately, Oliver decided to uh, cast it just in time. Most of these bounty hunts, the tactic seems to be just spam Astro or Mornstar. Let's defend, shall we? Ah. Didn't need to do all our defence. Now this doesn't sound nice. Whatever this is that's going to happen. Pilfer. But I think it got interrupted. Either that or it doesn't do much. Because nobody got hit with anything. There you go, friend. Have an Astro for your trouble. Let's get this bird out of its misery. Let's just alternate between Astra and Mornstar. Make the most of our MP then. Oh, he's going to hit us. Nope, no, he's not. Most of these enemies don't have a whole lot of uh, hit points, so. I think he's trying to nix Oliver there with that amnesia spell. But as long as we keep casting defence, he's not going to hit us. Another 600 points of damage, I do like that. I'm not sure what that pilfer thing does actually, I think it's more of a uh, self buff or something that he casts. Seems to be the way. He interrupted us, doesn't do a lot of damage, but he interrupts us and that's just annoying. Right, he's getting a Mornstar on him, whether he likes it or not. See, look, 409 points of damage, that's why he's trying to interrupt us. Defend, defend, defend. Ah, it, we got nixed. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. The Warbird stole some of our money. That's disgusting behaviour. I'm not standing for that. We're killing him now. Come on, come on, get him down. Let's see if we can grab the gold thing there. It's gone too high in the air. We did it! We certainly did. We did it indeed. And that is the two uh, bounty hunts that we needed to complete. And I am going to hand those in now because, uh, well, I want to. Because then we only have a log full of bounty hunts we need for the uh, Evan number 78, I think it is. Something like that anyway, isn't it? 131, I can't remember actually. Let's have a look. What Evan this is. Ah, there it is. Task Task 78 is one that we haven't begun yet. And that's because uh, there's some optional stuff we can do around that which we can't do just yet. So I'll tell you all about it when we get to it. And then Task 131 
is the conductor, which is the giant rabbit person, and that is the task for which we need to defeat loads of bounty hunts now. So I just want to hand the two in that aren't related to that task so we can keep a nice clean log and collect our rewards also. The idea then for task 131 is we do the first five bounty hunts and then we hand them in and collect I think another five maybe or something like that and then hand those in and we start to get some tough bosses then. Which is all good, it's all good. Oh no merit stamps now, have we collected all our merit stamps? Or was it just task 78 that's going to give us some? I don't think task 131 does, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure in all honesty. Let's have a look at merit rewards. We've got two merit cards and we need two more for the final reward. Okay, fair enough. There's going to be nothing on the Evan board now. We've done so much of the optional stuff. Just the two we're already doing that are already placed into our logs. So we're going to head on over to the inn, seeing as how we are here anyway. And then we're going to start our nice chain of bounty hunts. Which should be good. Let's just heal up and rest up. I think we need to. Hello, it's us again. I'm not happy that that last enemy took some of our money. I'm no, we're not, I know we're not exactly using money for anything. We need to uh, buy some ingredients, I think, and alchemize some stuff. Stuff like treats for our familiars to get their familiarity up. And cakes and all other good things like coffee and whatnot. But we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Now we're going to travel to the deep dark wood for our first bounty hunt which is task 116 titled would you believe it let's see how far down we have to travel uh, oh, right down the bottom maybe it'd be easier oh no I don't think we can uh, enter from the other side. This is the only side we can enter from. I wonder if it'd be worth just stopping by the tree guy, see if he's got anything for us. Sometimes he can give you reward if you go and visit him. And I've got to be honest, I haven't actually visited him at all since we first met him. I can't even remember his name. There he is, look. He look, sort of looks like a cross between a tree and a duck. Old Further Oak, that's the one. I guess we tell him everything. Okay, he gives us a new tale of wonder. Hopefully, uh, you haven't missed any by speaking to him like I have, but you can get other tales of wonder by speaking to him after various points in the story. But for now, we are going to head to the first bounty hunt, which is located at exactly the same place we fought the uh, boss in this dungeon earlier on, which was the Guardian of the Woods, if you remember. Uh, maybe I should cast the spell that shows us chests because there could be a purple chest or a chest here we weren't able to open previously. There's a blue chest. Can't see a purple but I can see a blue so we'll probably want to grab that at some point. I believe there is an achievement for opening all... Uh, well there's an achievement actually for finding all the hidden treasures on the map. I'm not sure if that counts towards opening chests because they wouldn't actually be classed as hidden treasures. There's also some golden familiars here and they're bloody fast as well. Did you see that? I don't even know he was chasing us. We're under attack! Oh, 
that's just not nice at all. Right, we're gonna call... We're gonna call Deanie Boy out. And see if we can pwn him with Ear Splitter. Because we love our Ear Splitter. Wow, that is nice. And I don't think we've got that dude, so we shall collect him. Always good to collect familiars if you haven't got them for the achievement, if you're going for the platinum. The annoying achievement is you have to collect all the familiars, pretty much all the familiars in the game. So good luck with that one. Yep, we'll keep that. And off we go again. So, we've got that dude. The only thing is, the problem with collecting familiars is, I think it should tell you if you've already caught it. Ah, blue chest is this way. Do you think that'd be useful? Let's cast Veil, shall we? I don't want to uh, fight unnecessary creatures at the moment. Not unless I absolutely have to. So here's our blue chest. Of course, the last time we were here, we did not have the uh, spring lock ability, which we did get quite early. But not that early, if you know what I mean. A creamy flan. I didn't see any other chests on here, but I'll cast it just in case I did miss something. Chart chests. My map. No, there's no purple chest, is there? Nope, nothing. Didn't need to cast that again then. We've got all the other chests. Right, so which way is it now? I don't want to get lost. Uh, I don't think it really matters actually. All roads lead to Rome. Or in this case, all roads lead to the bounty hunt. A spittering. Sounds good. Come on, Dean. Next one shot if you think again. Oh, I love this guy. The Dinosaurus. If you haven't got him, you can collect him from uh, the task where you have to collect the monsters for the dude. If you finish that chain, then you get a whole bunch of familiar tickets. The Dinosaurus is one of them. Or you can tame him if you want to do that, but that takes long, long, long time if you're unlucky. Look at that, we've got the Spitto. Let's call him Spitty. And down we go again. Let's get Veil vale going, shall we? We've already caught two familiars in our time here. Avoid the second Spitto, we don't need him. Don't want him, don't need him. Ooh. Like that little dodge manoeuvre then. Class. And Oliver can heal up right here. No, no, we saved just before we came here. And let's go and see who our bounty hunt is. As you, if you haven't guessed already, it's going to be a rematch against the Guardian of the Woods. Who we found here earlier. Only this time, he's going to have a little bit more than uh, 100 hit points or whatever it was he had. Oh, come on. Thank you. What? Ah, uh, yeah. Examine the Black Orb. And this dude has pretty much the same tactics uh, as before, only now we have a wider range of spells. This isn't Guardian of the Woods. The rematch is called Fury of the Forest. And he's actually weak to water-based attacks. So, what have we got in the way of water-based attacks? A physical, physical, fire, storm, water, howling blizzard. Yeah, look, everyone comes for Oliver. Why does everyone come for Oliver? I do like this dog guy, he looks mean. Shame his damage uh, isn't brilliant. So, let's start casting Mornstar. Uh-oh, probably should move before we cast it. Oh, I didn't like that. Did not like that. But now, 6,800 hit points for this guy, so uh, shouldn't 
Oh, why did I go for attack instead of defend? Oliver, you... I'm not going to insult him. He's doing his best, bless. He's doing his best. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, 6,800 hit points. Shouldn't take too long to defeat. Just try and defend against his most damaging attacks, which is pretty much the same sort of tactic that we'll have against uh, all of these bounty hunts. Which, incidentally, are all rematches against the game's bosses. All of them, yes. Including the final bosses in the Ivory Tower. Only now they're harder, as you would expect. The Guardian of the Woods here, excuse me, the Fury of the Forest, he's renamed himself, uh, is the easiest. Should we just go for a good old uh, melee finish? Come on, Percy. Yeah, we're going to take damage, but hopefully nothing that the rest of our party can't heal. Uh, yeah, like I said, healing would be nice. Because I've done fall out attack, isn't it? Doesn't matter, he's down. We did it! We certainly did do it. Yay, Oliver's levelled up. And so is Dean. And he gets a whole host of uh, stats every time he levels. Gemma, who, to be honest, is a good familiar, but I don't actually use her. Uh, that much in battle. Report of swift solutions to claim your reward. Not just yet, we are going to vacate the area. And next we want to head into the glorious area of the Ding Dong Well. Which means a quick travel to Ding Dong Dell should do the do the job. And I've got to remind myself on where exactly we have to go here. Uh, ah, I think it's that nice big black cave. It's been a long, long time since I went to the Ding Dong Well. This was right at the start of the game, and uh, wow, that feels ages ago now. I've had so much fun with Nino Cooney, I really have. It has actually been a while since I've played a single player game for this amount of time. 62 hours. That even exceeds the amount of time it took me to play through Final Fantasy VII. On my last pl uh, playthrough, which is on the YouTube channel if you haven't checked that out, and you like Final Fantasy VII, by all means, please do go and... Uh, uh, watch those videos. Classic game, that is classic game. Ah, so we've got a bit of a bit of a trek over there. So, uh, what I'm going to do is pause the video here and be with you in just a moment as we reach the next boss. Okay, so here we are. And if you haven't been back to the Ding Dong Well uh, since the first visit, there is now a purple chest and a green chest that you have access to. Uh, both are slightly off the path, but uh, quite near the boss anyway, so you may as well get them. The green chest is just behind a cage, which is, uh, or behind a set of bars, which is easy to get with Swain. You won't have any problems with that. And we examine the black orb again for a bounty hunt. This is a rematch against the Hickory Dock. And it's now called the Dickory Dock. Fair enough, fair enough. This guy doesn't like fire, so if you want to hit him with all fire stuff, then you'll be doing a lot of damage. Uh, as long as you've got some strong fire spells, that is. The other point of... Oh, can we interrupt that? I don't know if we did actually, or did work. Uh, the other point of contention is that he likes to spam confuse spells. And I was kind of hoping to defend against that. Or at the very least, interrupt him. I didn't actually defend. But you know what I mean. Now, I'm just going to go over to Dean, let Percy recharge a bit, and Dean can cast Ear Splitter. Even though he's only single target, uh, this boss it does do a nice amount of damage. Oh, now's our chance. So let's take it. That was not... Whoa, 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 where did all our health go? Yeah, let's get some uh, healing going. We've got healing hand which completely restores our hit points, so I think now's a good time to use that. Don't get interrupted. No, we didn't. And we'll go back over to Percy. 
start laying out the damage. Oh, I didn't get evade off. It's awesome that evade spell. Not to worry. It's pretty much the same tactic as before, so not too challenging, I would say. Can we just grab that green ore, please? Yes, we can. Let's hit him from behind. Don't want that to sound wrong, but it's, it is the best tactic to use. And the Dickery Dock is going down. Just like the Hickory Dock before him. We won! And that is the first two uh, of our bounty hunts completed for the quest chain that we are doing. We get a nice bit of experience for doing these as well. Look at that, Swain's levelled up. Right, with that done, we can vacate the area and travel to wherever it is we want to go next. But for today, I'm going to finish things here and we'll continue with the next three bounty hunts of this chain. Uh, next time, so that's these here, 118 to 120. Should be good, should be good fun. Please join me for that and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you really want to help me out, go ahead and share this video with your friends. The share button is right down by the uh, description of this video, so please do that as well. Thank you very much for joining me, folks. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, once again, and I'll see you next time for more Nino Kuni. Bye!